Welcome to a new video on my home automation series and today I'm reviewing another son of products and this is the basic Zigbee Release 3. And when you look at the device you think that oh this is just the son of basic Release 3 and well they have used the same molding and the main difference between this and the regular uh, son of basic that the regular son of basic uses Wi-Fi but this uses the Zigbee. So this is an alternative to the Wi-Fi control. If you prefer Zigbee, then, well, then you have a product. It's the same physical design, it's the same inline switch that we have used. So very, very simple. There is an input side on the left, there is an output side on the right, and you have the same physical control and the same physical layout. And the specifications are pretty much the same as well. So as we used for most of the Sonoff devices, they have a 10 amp relay. So the output is rated for 10 amp and it is multi-voltage, so it works in all regions of the world. In this video we are going to look at how you set this uh, Zigbee uh, basic in the EV-Link app and how you use the various features, the scheduling and uh, some of the options that are available. So you can set this unit up to work with some of your other son of devices. Unboxing of this device is going to be very straightforward. You already see the main parts. Along with the device, you are also receiving a QC pass certificate. There is some mounting hardware, which is basically a cable clamp that goes on both sides, which holds down the incoming mains and the outgoing mains wires. And there is also a user manual, which is the usual Sonoff short user manual. It talks about how you set up the device, how you take the cover off in order to get access to the wires and the terminals, how you install the cable clamp. And also please remember that there is no connection for earth. So if you are planning to use it in an application where the device needs to be earth, then you need to route that earth wire separately, either through the device or outside the device. So just make sure that you are, so just make sure that you are using this device properly. I have the son of Zigbee Basic installed and to be honest, even after it's installed, it looks and behaves exactly like a regular son of Basic, you know, the Wi-Fi version. Of course, it's the same box that we have seen before. You still have an input side and the output side and in both cases, you just have two terminals. So I've connected the mains, the input mains here and the output mains is just connected to this LED. You still have two status LEDs. Uh, well, the only difference is that the status while well, the actual status LED is green, I think in a, in a regular sort of basic it's blue. And you also have a button, so you can control the output locally from here. And you have a feedback as well. So, yeah, works and behaves exactly the same as a son of basic. And as we are going to see in the app, the app features and the settings are not going to be all that different either. So after I've set it up in the EV-Link application, you can see that it appears in my, well, I just assigned it to the living room. And uh, just like with the son of basic, you have an option to control the output from here as well. So you don't have to go into the device details and you are also getting a feedback. It says open and close. I don't know why it doesn't say, uh, you know, on and off, but hey, we have to live with that. And if you go into the device settings, you still have the, you know, the regular big on off switch in the middle. And when we look at the rest of the features, these are the things that we see on the regular Sonoff as well. So we can have schedules, so you can set up hour and minute on various days when you want the device to either turn on or turn off. And you can have multiple of these schedules selected. You can also have timers. So these, these are the manual timers where you switch on the device and let's say after 33 minutes, you want the device to automatically turn off. So this is something that you would activate manually once you turn off on the device. It's like a sleep functionality on the TV. And you also have a loop timer where the, the basic functionality I would use it for is you set to this alternate schedule and you can set up an on cycle and an off cycle which is going to repeat continuously and you can either set it to start from a specific time date and time so maybe you can use it as a uh, to control a pump which needs to pump you know water or any fluid regularly for a set interval so it's like the really old style clocks you know analog switch clocks that you would 
you know, have those dip switches or something like that on the side and then it rotates throughout the day. Probably the only reason the loop timer might be interesting because we are not going to have the favorite inching functionality here in the Zigbee Basic. And actually that brings me to the settings. So you click on the three dots and the only functions you have here at the moment is you can rename the device, you can assign it to a different location, so a different room. And you can also see the logs, you know, whether it got switched on or switched off. And um, the device ID, and that's pretty much it. So we don't have some of the features that we are used to in the Wi-Fi Sonoff Basic. So that could be one reason why you would choose one or the other. The only other thing we need to look at is the scenes and just look at what are the different options that are supported by this device in terms of triggers and actions. So if I go into triggers and I select smart device and Zigbee Basic, well, it's not really surprising. You have two different triggers. You can trigger a scene when the Son of Basic gets turned on or turned off. And probably it's going to be the same on the action side as well. So let me go back. I'm not going to set up anything here. So smart device, Zigbee Basic, and yes, you have the option to turn it on and off. So in terms of the scenes, it behaves exactly the same as the regular Wi-Fi sort of basic. I think it was a simple and quick review, but it's not really surprising because uh, this is just like uh, our known and loved, you know, son of basic. But uh, instead of communicating over Wi-Fi, it just uses Zigbee to, you know, to send the messages through and to allow you to turn it on and off. If you like this uh, device, I will leave some purchasing links in the video description. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.